This is Julia Blyashoff. She's a high achieving student with a 4.55 grade point average, taking advanced placement classes, participated in the U18 World, won the U19 One of Pan two American girls Cup. chosen from California for the Olympic Development Stanford University commit. But Julia is much more than a stellar student and an extraordinary volleyball player. Julia's grandmother is a refugee from Ukraine due to the current war. Her grandmother is able to stay with her family here in California and is out of harm's way in a hometown of Kyiv, Ukraine. She feels lucky to live in the United States of America where freedom and service to others are foundational values. This is a Don Beyond with Julia Blyashov. Well, thanks, Julia, for taking some time to talk with me today. Thanks um, for having me. So you had an older brother who graduated from Cathedral. How's he doing? He's doing good. He graduated college, which is kind of crazy. So he graduated Harvard, and then he's getting his master's at Pepperdine. So he's playing one more year of water polo there. Okay. How's that going? It's good. They're doing well. I'm coming up to see them in the next weekend. So I'm excited. Good. So uh, in addition to being a really talented volleyball player, you're also a really good student. And so we know that about you. But what do you do for fun when you're not playing volleyball or when you're not doing schoolwork? Like help us get to know you uh, separate from any of that. Yeah, so I love reading and cooking and baking and watching sunsets. I love watching the sunsets um, and just hanging out with my friends. You know, at, at Cathedral, we, we like to think about the well-rounded individual. And as a, uh, as a really talented volleyball player, uh, and as a really good student, people know you in a particular way. Wow, Julia, she's a really great volleyball player. But um, you're so much more than that. You have so much more going on in life than just being a really talented volleyball player and a really good student and just a really good person. And so I want to talk about something that's maybe a little bit more personal, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. So talk about your family's ethnic backgrounds. So my parents came from the Soviet Union um, and came to the U.S. and my mom grew up in Ukraine, so she was born and raised there. Um, and we have a bunch of family over there and a lot of uh, friends and stuff, so. Over the past couple of months, obviously mm -hmm. there's been a lot of conversation about, about the war in Ukraine. And uh, it seems to me, anyway, that, that that story has kind of fallen out of the news and it's fallen out of, at least for me, I feel like it's fallen away from me and yet, the war is very much still a part of, of life for people in the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could share with us a little bit how you've been affected by, you know, by the war in Ukraine. Uh, so, like I said, my family members are from there and a lot of my family, like family friends are there too. So my uncle and my cousins, they had to flee the country to Sweden and a family was so nice and they welcomed them into their homes because they knew that a lot of people were in need of leaving the country for the safety of their families because um, it's their home isn't safe anymore. Right. Um, so my uncle and my cousins fled to Sweden and my grandma and my grandpa, they decided to stay because my grandpa was sick and my grandma didn't want to leave him. So they stayed. And then in May, my grandfather passed away. So that's when the whole process of bringing my grandma um, to the U.S. started, um, and now she's back with us and living with us. So, yeah, so even though she's here, it's still so, like, scary just hearing all of the stuff from her other family members and her friends there. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, but just having her here is awesome. Yeah. Your dad was sharing a little bit with me about some of the things your grandmother uh, experienced. Do you want to mm -hmm. share a little bit about that? She would wake up and just like do her normal life activities and she would hear bombs and she would just know that there's like tanks rolling like just miles away and it was like terrifying and even now she's like we were just over at her friend's house and a balloon popped and she had like a like a panic attack because it's just it's like it's so it's just so terrifying and um yeah so i just feel so bad for everyone that has to be there and I'm glad that my grandma's here but it's just, there's so, so many people that are still there and still have to suffer and go through this there so. yeah what has that done to you like what is that experience of your grandmother uh, and many extended family members 
Like, what does that mean for you, like, personally? I think it definitely opened up my eyes. Like, I'm here playing the sport that I love and going to school, going to this amazing school um, that I'm super blessed to go to. And there's people, like, fighting for their lives. And, you know, they're, they have to leave their homes, leave their life, like, normal life. Um, so I guess it's just taught me that I just really need to be grateful for everything that I have. And I think that's, like, something I would probably want to share with everyone, that we should all be really, really, really grateful for being in this country and for all the opportunities that we have. Great. Uh, I think sometimes when, uh, when we talk about war, well, I say it personally, like when I talk about war, I talk about it from a, uh, from a historical perspective or from a theoretical perspective, but yeah. right, you have a personal experience, right. like your grandmother who, whose life and, and relatives who, whose lives have been changed by mm -hmm. war. And, and so for you, you must, you know, like you must think a little differently about, about war. It's, it's not just a history lesson. Yeah. It's something very personal for you. And I mean, I don't think any of us really expected this to happen. Like it was, you know, there was always talk about this, but no one actually expected it to happen. So it was just like, when the news ca first came out, we were like all in shock and, like our, like when I got the phone call and like the text messages and I just like saw the news, I was, I was really affected by it for sure. Um, and it was, it was just terrifying, but we were just s staying connected with our family and, and our friends, but yeah. Uh, what's one message uh, that you would want to leave with students or really any member uh, of the Cathedral Catholic community? I think the biggest message for me is definitely to be grateful for where we live in and the opportunities that we have and uh, just to keep praying and supporting Ukraine because they need it. Thanks for your time, Julia. Of course, thanks for having me. Okay. With the war in Ukraine never far from thought in Julia's mind and heart, she continues to lead the Cathedral Catholic volleyball team to an undefeated season with aspirations for a state championship and a great conclusion to her senior year.